Hi everyone and welcome back to my more important analysis videos with me which are Perry Market Analyst at Hattic Markets on Monday the 10th of April looking at dollar yen. Um, as I said earlier the um, sort of safe haven aspect of dollar yen has just waned slightly and you've started to see um, uh, the pair starting to tick higher. Now it sort of came about on Friday, this is the hour chart where we saw the initial downside move against the dollar on Friday in the wake of the payrolls report but then that unwound and quite sharply as well at a uh, big low at 110.09 continues to remain intact and has been tested on several occasions and held on several occasions. So there is a, a positive um, sort of aspect to this move and obviously what we have got also on this hour, uh, sorry on the daily chart is this big uptrend that we've seen in place since September that is continuing to hold. Yes, it sort of got broken um, or, or tested, significantly tested back in the last week um, on an intraday basis, but never closing basis. Uh, it still holds on a closing basis. And again today, it's sort of up again today. And you start to see these momentum indicators turn the corner. Those MACD lines are starting to sort of look like they're going to cross higher. Stochastics have already crossed higher. RSI is sort of starting to pick up as well. And I think that there is sort of a... a a look of possible improvement on this chart you've still got the big resistance 111.60 that you need to overcome that is your level that sort of prevented the rally from taking hold last week that continues to remain the case today again 11.60 coming in as the basis of resistance and to be honest anything sort of that improves would still need to get above 12.20 to complete this little double bottom that uh, possibly could be fall. So there is still um, a positive outlook to this chart just um, with that big, uh, big, big uptrend in place but it has been tested and it is still holding but um, the market could be in the process of a bit of a turnaround certainly with these momentum indicators worth looking out for so with that in mind we're sort of trading in a little bit of a near term range on the hourly chart you've got a pivot that's I mean I, I talked about 110.90 last week it seems to say that there is a pivot around 111 big figure now um, old low from the 30th became resistance and again supportive overnight so 111 figure is, is your near term support as a pivot but um, that key level 110.09 still remains intact as well so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later